What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna be looking at Sandshark Driver. She is currently the item shop. She is in a common outfit. She does have two selectable styles. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So the Sand Shark Driver. The Sand Shark Driver is a very cool skin. She is in a common outfit, so she's really not gonna hurt the wallet. The combinations of colors of green, black, and orange is a nice take on the skin. She also has a selectable style where you can remove her beanie, which I wouldn't remove it because that hair is just hideous. But anyways, you still have that option. Does she match her rarity? I'm gonna say she doesn't. She looks a lot better for an uncommon outfit, but I'm not complaining. That means we are getting it for a lot cheaper than we would have to, and everything about this skin is just very good. I just don't see her as an uncommon. So what's my final rating for the Sand Shark Driver? I'm gonna have to give the Sand Shark Driver a 9 out of 10. The reason why I'm giving it such a high rating is cause she does have a selectable style that you normally don't see with an uncommon skin. Also she looks like a sweat skin since she is very thin, the combinations of colors are very unique as well and I just like everything about this skin. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For the first combination with the Sand Shark Driver, I am pairing it up with the Deflector. As you can tell by the color scheme of the skin, she does have green and orange, and the orange is what I'm utilizing for this combination. And for the Harvesting Tool of Choice, we're gonna be going with the Rankers with the Big Lug Edit Style. The reason behind this Edit Style is because it does give you a pipe branch that is orange. Similar color scheme to the back thing, and fits very well. And for the Glider, we're gonna be going with the Fortilla Flyer. The Fortilla Flyer does have orange and green implemented into the Glider itself. It actually looks very good, especially because you could obtain it during this season if you win a battle royale match. For the Contra, we're going to be going with the Star Drop. The Star Drop does have that orange and green color scheme that I'm actually utilizing with this combination. And wrapping it all together, we're going to be going with the Tiger Stripes. The Tiger Stripes does have that Tiger Stripes that is orange. It also has green implemented to the wrap itself and it just matches perfectly. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Sand Shark Driver, I am pairing it up with the Reinforced Backplate. Now the Reinforced Backplate actually fits very well on her back. The combination of colors is almost identical. It also has that little orange light that complements the orange from the skin. For the Harvesting Tool of Choice, we're going to be going with the Splinter Strike. The Splinter Strike itself is a very unique harvesting tool. It actually matches very well due to the color combinations it does have. And for the glider, I'm going with the Ohm. The pipe wrench on the Ohm glider actually matches very well with the combinations of colors that the skin and back thing do have. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Phantasm. The Phantasm Contra is just ectoplasma coming from both hands and feet. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with Dogfight. The Dogfight wrap is a very simple wrap but effective. It does have a military camo that does have green and brown on it that just complement the skin. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Sand Shark Driver, I am pairing it up with the Angle Intercept. Now the Angle Intercept does have an orange color scheme that matches very well with the combinations of colors that the skin does have. Then when you pair it up with the Harvesting Tool, the Racer's Edge is a match made in heaven. The color scheme fits really well especially because the Harvesting Tool is orange and it matches very good. For the Glider of choice, we're going to be going with Cinder. Cinder does have that orange red color scheme that just looks very good. It is very hard to actually complement orange since there's not a lot of gliders that do have that color and that's the reason why I'm using Cinder. And for the control we're going to be going with Lava. The Lava control is orange so it complements the skin and back thing very good. Another reason why I'm using it is to complement the theme of the glider itself. 
And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the call sign skull. The call sign skull does have that black and orange color scheme that just fits very well with this combination. Even though I'm not utilizing green, it still looks very good. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Sand Shark Driver, I am pairing it up with the Loot and Shoot Backwing. The Loot and Shoot Backwing does have a similar green to the skin. I really do like this combination because it also has gold that really stands out in her back. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Bespoke Blades. The blades themselves do have a color scheme of green and gold that really complements the backwing itself. And staying on that gold combination, we're going to be going with the Glider of the Classified. The classified glider does have that gold and black color scheme that just matches very well with the skin. And for the control, we're gonna be going with the chrono. The chrono control always fits really well with any combination that has any gold. And wrapping it all together, we're gonna be going with the driftwood for the wrap. The driftwood wrap does have a texture of wood on the weapon wrap itself. It also has gold that really complements the whole combination very good. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination with the Sand Shark Driver, I am pairing it up with the Reaction Tank. Now the Reaction Tank is actually one of those backlinks that fit really well on her back. It's very compact, the combinations of colors also match perfectly. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Specialist Pickaxe with the Jungle Camo Edistyle. Now the Jungle Camo Edistyle, it looks very good and it's almost identical to the same color schemes that the backlink and skin do utilize. And for the glider, we're gonna be going with the dumpster flyer. The dumpster flyer does have that orange color scheme that I'm actually using with the skin. It also has that teal blue color scheme on top of it that just looks very good. It matches very well as well. And for the control, we're gonna be going with the overlay. The overlay control does give you the attitude and latitude when you descend to the battlefield. It does have a primary color scheme of green, and that's the reason why I'm using it. And for the wrap, I'm going with the Sionica. The Sionica wrap does have that green and orange color scheme that the skin does have. It also has white that really stands out and it just looks amazing. So let's check out this combo. Those are the 5 combinations I've found so far for the Sand Shark Driver. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all cap, 2Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the Iron Shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. Also, check out my Instagram. I post daily combinations over there as well. And for all my other social medias and discords, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.